All right, raise your hand if you remember duck pin bowling. You know, the little balls, I know it was my first encounter on the lanes, but finding the duck pin alley nowadays is not easy. Chris Reckling found one, though, and he joins us tonight with that story. Most people will tell you they played this game when they were a young child, and that makes sense. The smaller and lighter ball of duck pin bowling is easier to handle, but that doesn't make this game any easier. Rolling a strike is probably more luck than, uh, than skill. To offset the difficulty of knocking down the pins, bowlers get three balls per frame. Still, nobody has ever rolled a perfect 300 game, and the best duck pin bowlers carry an average in the 150s. Jim Sladek and a bunch of his friends meet a couple times a week at Victory Lanes in Portsmouth. Since the first time Jim picked up the smaller duck pin ball, he knew he was hooked. I started duck pin bowling uh, oh, about seven years ago after my wife passed away. A neighbor came over and said, hey, how'd you like to try duck pin bowling? What in the world's duck pin bowling? People think it's not here. They don't realize it's here. And if you tell them you bowl, and they'll, they'll ask you about it, and you say, no, I bowl duck pins. And they said, I've never heard of duck pins. Duck pin bowling has a small yet loyal group of followers. Unlike traditional 10 pin bowling, duck pin bowling is losing traction and is mostly played in the mid-Atlantic states. And Victory Lanes is the only house in town where you can experience this old school game. It's on the decline, we really don't know why. Uh, it's about a 100 year old sport. It's been in Tadwater since 1930, I guess. Christine Hoffmeister first tried duck pin bowling Memorial Day weekend back in 1979. 35 years later, she still plays twice a week. Oh, it's great. It's a good exercise. It's, you don't have to be great at it, but you can still try. And I just love it. My family would like me to quit because of my age, but I'm not going to. Christine is 94 years old. Her best game ever, a 202. What is the trick to being good at this? I don't think there is a trick. It's just if you can get up there and get your arm back and throw a ball, you know, it goes. But sometimes your arm won't get back and you, get, you bend your elbow and then you're done. You're done for. <laughs> but no, it's a great game. I love it. In Portsmouth, Chris Reckling for the Sports Wrap.